What's up guys, welcome to another Beyond the Wheel with Joseph Lombard. I'm here with rookie driver for the k and Pro Series West and the driver of the number 99 Ninos Toyota for Bill McNally Racing. Brittany Zamora, uh, thank you for taking the time today. Yeah, of course, thanks for having me. Now, you started racing when you were just five years old and that's very young to start racing. Uh, what got you into racing? Yeah, so even before I started racing, uh, it was in my blood. I went out to the racetrack when I was four days old to watch my dad. And um, I just, ever since then, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I uh, started racing go-karts the day, very first day I could based on age, and I've uh, been doing it ever since. You started racing go-karts, like you said, yeah. at five years old. Uh, I'm going to guess your father was the one that wanted to get you into it, or did you want to get to it yourself? Yeah, it was a little bit of both, you know. My dad, my dad had always raced before that, and um, growing up, spending my weekends at the track, you know, I wanted to take my turn at it, you know. Seeing my dad do it, I wanted to do it, and so go karts was that stepping stone to get into racing. And so we we both decided that's what we wanted to do. So, at what moment did you wanted to move up into late miles? Because obviously, it's gone very successful for you so far. So, did you want it to get into late miles, or? Because your father apparently used to run late miles as well. Yes. So did you just follow in his footsteps or you just wanted to decide on yourself, I want to give this a try? <laughs> yeah, so actually um, years and years before I was actually eligible to run in super late models. Like that was my dream. Like, that's what I looked forward to. My dad had multiple championships in the series, did touring series and won championships. And so that's always what I knew I wanted to do. And um, so I always told my dad, joking with him, I'm going to steal your ride one day. That's going to be my car. And eventually it happened in 2016. So just been moving on up since then. Well, I will tell you, you've been very successful in late mile racing because you've won back-to-back -back championships in 2017 and 2018. Did you ever think when you got into late mile racing that you would be winning races and championships right off the bat? Yeah, that was the goal. Um, you know, everything that I've raced in, everything that I've sat and I've wanted to be the best I can be at it. So whether it was go-karts, mini stocks, limited late models, super late models, um, the goal was always to have championships and to get there you got to have those wins and so that's what we knew we needed to do and we accomplished just that. Obviously you and your father have a good relationship. Do you guys butt heads every now and then? Is it that kind of relationship? And I know he gives you a lot of support, he gives you a lot of confidence and he he's basically your driver coach. But What's the relationship like with your father? Real copy, you got my name. Have your name on it? No, actually it has mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting because, you know, we I live with my parents still, so I'm at home and I'm with my dad. When he comes home from work, we go straight out to the shop and work on our super late model. And so um, we're doing that. And then on the weekends, he's my crew chief, my driver coach, he's everything. I have a problem, I go to him, or if I have cars doing this, I go to him. So he's my go-to guy. Um, you know, sometimes we butt heads just because we're we're super competitive and we want the win, and you know. And so, um, but it's only it's in good ways. Only you know, we mean the best when we do it. And so, um, it, it kind of comes along with it. You know, you're working with your dad. It, it'll happen, but it's all it's all for the good. Now, I noticed that obviously your father works on your late models and stuff, but here on the k and side, he kind of steps away and just watches it. Is that difficult for him? Oh my gosh, it's really hard for him, yeah. <laughs> he he doesn't he almost doesn't know what to do with himself, you know, because usually we come to the track, we unload as a family, we get the car ready, we put it on scales, we do the whole setup of our pit and everything. And so when we come here and we have a team doing that for me, it, he's just kind of like lost. You know, he wants to be hands-on, he wants to be helping, he wants to, you know, like hear what the car's doing and be able to fix it. But, you know, he has to take that step back now that we're in the K&N series and running with Toyota and VMR. This is your rookie year. And when was that the moment that you got the call that from Bill McAnally for anybody that, hey, you're going to be competing in the k Pro West Series in 2019. What was that feeling like to you? Yeah, so it, it was kind of like a slower process, I guess, you know. I, I got invited to a combine, and um, there it was like stuff was in the works, but I didn't know what or with who or anything. And so um, it kind of came up that maybe a possible k ride was in the um, looks for 2019, but I didn't want to get my hopes up too high because 
I mean, it's super hard. I mean, there's only 19 drivers that are racing this weekend out of everybody. So, um, pretty hard to get in this field. Um, you got to have the right sponsors. you got to have the right people backing you. And so, when it finally came about, I was relieved. I was excited. Um, I, I Excited, yeah. Those, pretty much my emotions were all in one. And um, I was ready to make the most out of the season. Two races in in the European season, also at Bristol as well. Uh, 11th at Vegas, 8th in Irwindale. Um, we're here in Tucson tonight, obviously twin races. You guys had a couple of practice sessions last night. You're about to have a couple more in qualifying, and then, of course, twin races tonight. What are we expecting out of you tonight? Yeah, I'm hoping for top five or podium. Um, Vegas wasn't really a true test of what my team and I can do in a car, you know. We, that was only our second race ever working together, second race in these cars, and they throw me on dirt. I've never spent a day on dirt in my life. And then um, I think Irwindale, the first 75 laps there, truly showed like what we can do as a team. You know, we went from 11th to 4th, and we were fighting for podium spots right there. Um, we just didn't quite adjust the car to where we needed it to be. We over-adjusted a little bit. Um, so I was fighting the handling of the car, but, I mean, we, we showed what we can do, and so now we just got to go out there and prove it and get those finishes. So what's the ultimate goal for this season? Obviously winning races and a championship, but is there something else you also want to accomplish and learn for racing with BMR? And what's the relationship like with the, with the team, BMR, the drivers? I mean, what, what's that relationship like? Yeah, so my goals is um, first year, you know, I really want rookie of the year. I want to keep that going for BMR and then um, for myself as well. You know, we worked really hard so far this season, and that's kind of um, one of our biggest goals for this year. And just to be able to be up front, running up front and consistent. I mean, if you can do that, you, you're proving yourself during the race, that you, you deserve the ride, you deserve the opportunity, and that you have the talent to be here. And so um, my team really helps me with getting there, and it's a really cool environment. I work great with my team. My crew chief is amazing. We've, we've worked really great since ever since the first race, and, um, you know, Derek's great to work with. Uh, we're pitted right next to each other, so it kind of helps, you know, we're just mm -hmm. right there, and we talk to everything, talk to each other about everything. And so um, it's a really good environment, and hopefully we can just keep building on it and getting closer as a team. All right, now I got a couple of questions from the fans that has submitted questions for me to ask you. So if this first question comes from Emmett Swanson, if you weren't a NASCAR driver, what occupation would you want to have? Oh, um, I would definitely be a professional dancer. I danced for 15 years. I'm a national champion. Um, I would go and dance on the weekdays. On the weekends, I'd be at the racetrack. And so I definitely miss it, but kind of had to choose one or the other, and racing is the path I chose. The second question comes from Joshua. Um, what is your long-term goal for your racing career? My long-term goal is just to be able to make a career out of racing. You know, it's my passion. It's what I love to do. I've done it my whole life. It um, doesn't necessarily have to be, like, cup series. I mean, there's, what, 35 people in the world that get to do that, and so it's pretty pretty slim pickings there. Um, if I could make a career in k and that'd be amazing, and trucks, even better. Um, or even if it's going back down to super late models and running Saturday night shows. I mean, that's, there's people out there doing it right now, so if I could be doing that, that'd be pretty sweet. As long as you're in the race car, exactly. you'll be happy, right? Exactly, yeah. Well, hopefully we do see you eventually in the top series, uh, whether in the trucks, Xfinity, or Cub. I think you got a long good career left in you you're 20 years old you just turned 20 and uh, I wish you the best of luck uh, before we let you go is there anybody you gotta thank for your opportunity to get where you're at today of course yeah um, I want to thank Toyota for picking me out and giving me this opportunity I want to thank BMR for all their help this season Enios, Napa, the Davis group um, there's, there's so many people backing me and I want to go out there and show them that they made the right choice in choosing me Awesome. Well, Brittany, thank you for taking the time today to do this interview, and uh, I wish you the best of luck tonight and your race career. We'll be watching you tonight as well, and I could just see your dad over there. He's just <laughs> he's so badly wants to get his I hands know, on yeah. the car, <laughs> just work on something. So hopefully, maybe eventually he'll get to get his hands we on. We got some. another super late mall race in two weeks, so he'll get his fix. <laughs> awesome. Well, good luck to you tonight. I'll be watching you and uh, enjoy the race. Thank you.